many homeowners do what they can to keep their lawns uniform throughout the year. Still, when temperatures drop and the grass becomes dormant, weeds like wild onions will continue activity, creating uneven patches of growth. These wild onions can spread and overtake your lawn if left untreated, killing the native turf grass. In this video, we'll go over how to identify wild onion weeds, how to get rid of them, and how to prevent them from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. The term wild onion is a general name used to refer to many plants in the Allium genus. There are over 70 wild-grown species in North America, so we'll go over general characteristics. Wild onions are perennial, grass-like plants that grow from bulbs. They grow actively in the cooler weather of fall and spring, usually up to 18 inches in height. When dug up, the bulbs are covered with a fibrous membrane and have short roots. During spring, the weeds bolt and grow flowers in umbels. Each individual flower resembles a six-pointed star and ranges from pink to white in color. From these flowers, aerial bulblets are formed and eventually drop to the ground to form new plants. The older plant then dies. Several plants are easily confused for wild onion, like wild garlic and other more toxic plants. It's important to distinguish wild onion from other weeds as that may impact your approach to treatment. To tell wild onions from wild garlic, check out the leaves. While wild onions grow flat leaves, wild garlic grows tubular leaves that are hollow on the inside. To tell wild onions from its toxic lookalikes, dig up one of the bulbs. The bulb of a wild onion will be covered in its fibrous membrane, while the toxic lookalikes will lack this. Even though wild onions are closely related to the cultivated onions we buy in grocery stores, unless you're a trained foraging professional, we advise you to not dig up wild onions for consumption. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Wild onions have a wide distribution throughout the United States. If you suspect weed activity in your lawn, look for patches of differently colored turf. These plants are often a different shade of green from your normal turf grass. Wild onions grow actively in cooler temperatures when most turf grasses become dormant. When the weather cools in fall, be on the lookout for taller patches of plants that have not lost their color to dormancy. In spring, look out for early flower formation. If bulblets have formed and dropped to the ground, control methods may only treat the existing plants and not any new plants that have yet to sprout. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE and remember to keep people and pets out of the treated areas until products dry completely. If you have a few wild onions growing on your lawn, then manual pulling is manageable enough. Keep in mind that it's easy for the plant leaves to break off from the bulb, and that other bulbs are often left in the ground to grow. In lawns, mowing will also help, but not kill the plants entirely. With proper, consistent lawn care, weeds will eventually weaken and choke out. For large infestations of wild onion weeds, the best method of control is to apply a post-emergent herbicide that's labeled to not injure your lawn's native turf grass. In cool season grasses, we recommend 2,4-D amine. The labeled application rate for this product is 3.16 pints of concentrate per one acre. For smaller applications, this breaks down to 1.1 fluid ounces of concentrate applied over 1,000 square feet. In warm season grasses, we recommend Fahrenheit herbicide. For spot applications, mix 0.2 ounces of product per 1 gallon of water to apply over 1,000 square feet. Keep in mind that when making applications over St. Augustine grass, Bermuda grass, or Zoysia grass, temporary stunting or chlorosis may occur. For either of these products, we recommend you mix and apply your herbicide with a handheld pump sprayer. Because wild onion leaves are waxy, we also recommend you use a surfactant like Nanotech to enhance the effectiveness of your treatment. Nanotech is a non-herbicide product designed to improve the adhesion and penetration of pesticides onto treated surfaces. When using Nanotech, just add one fluid ounce per one gallon of solution. Spot treat any wild onion plant you found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. 
Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed, especially if the plant's bulb is still alive. Reapplication intervals with 2,4-D amine range from 21 to 30 days. Reapplication intervals with Fahrenheit range from 4 to 6 weeks. Applications are most effective when plants are actively growing before seed production. If the plants are close to producing seeds, you may need to mow the plant to prevent the weed from spreading. If you do mow, the bulb will survive and grow a new plant over the next year, providing another opportunity to apply chemical control. Keep in mind that mechanical removal alone is not recommended, as it is easy to leave bulbs in the soil to grow new plants next season. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. One of the best ways to control wild onions after they've been eliminated from your property is to mow them down if new plants start to sprout. When mowing lawns, simply mow regularly to the grass's proper mowing height. Removing weeds before they can reproduce will stop them from spreading onto your property. We also recommend promoting the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches. Rake away leaf litter and remove any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop weeds like wild onions from taking over your turf, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.